So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen round function, right? Now in this video we'll talk about f strings. Basically, you know, in uh, Python 3.6 version, there was a, a mechanism introduced for string formatting, new method for string formatting, right? That is f strings, right? Because these strings are prefixed with f, alphabet f. That is why these are known as f strings, right? Now, why this method was introduced, what are f-strings, drawbacks, and, and uh, there are other, you know, methods also to format strings like str or format function we can use, or we can use that percentage sign, right? So, why they have introduced this thing, right? So, that we will see first of all with the help of one example program. Practically, I'll show you, then you will get it better. Okay, so let's create a new file for this, we'll see f strings right f underscore strings dot py right let's take one example i am taking just a name suppose name is uh, krishna and uh, let's say i am taking age age is suppose i am taking 30 and uh, we can say one more thing height we can say suppose height in float we will take. So in meter we are taking, so that is why I am taking suppose 1.6 meter, right? So one, this type is string, this type is int, this type is float, right? In one line I want to print, like my name is Krishna, I am 30 years old and my height is 1.6 meter, like this. So you have, we will concatenate this thing. One thing we have discussed how to concatenate uh, strings till now one method only using plus sign so what we can do like we can write print and here we can write my name is and using plus sign we can can concatenate like name right after that comma and i am we can concatenate this because I want uh, the value to be fetched from this variable age. So age, I am age years old. Only this thing we are printing, right? So now let's run this and I'll show you the output. See, it will give you one error, type error. Can only concatenate string, not integer to str because my name is, this is str. Name also str, okay. I am, we are putting this in double quotes, this is string, years old, this is string, but age is what? Integer. So using plus, we cannot concatenate string with integer, right? So for this, we have to convert this like typecast, str and age. Now let's run this. See now, my name is Krishna and I am 30 years old. So we have to typecast this thing. But like this, we have multiple variables, 10, 15 variables and there we have some values and I want to print this kind of thing. So we have to take care of this thing like we have to typecast those into string. That would be a tedious task. Another way is like this also we can write down. Rather than plus, we can just simply put a comma here and age, right? Rather than plus, we can just put comma here and just write down the name of the variable name. That is also fine. This time also it will print. My name is Krishna and I am 30 years old. You don't have to typecast. So this is a plus point. But here the point is, here also if we have multiple variables, like 10 to 15 variables and we have to write down this thing. So you have to take care what you will put in this, like double quotes, then comma, then name of the variable, not in double quotes, then again comma, then the string, whatever you want to print exact on the output screen, you have to put that in double quotes or single quotes in Python single quote is also fine but the variable name you have you, you cannot put in that double quote or single quote like this you have to put comma then that variable name then years old now I will print something like this again my height is so like this my height is then we have to print like height 1.6 and then for meters what we will do again in double quotes or single quotes meters like this right so 
this would be very tedious thing and maybe we can miss this this thing let me just first run this and show you like my name is krishna i am 30 year old and my height is 1.6 meters right but the problem here is if you miss one comma here suppose i forgot to write down this comma it will give error right you have to put comma here what if i can put everything in one single quote i'll start one single quote here my name is the name i am this year old my height is this and simply we just uh, you know uh, end the double quotes right within the line no comma and nothing how we can do that thing obviously that would be easy to read and all so that is why they introduced one more you know two more methods are there using str.format function that is also very you know something tedious to do and error prone and uh, one more method is we can use percentage also but that is also the chances of errors would be more but one method that was introduced in python 3.6 is very simple that is using f string we can format in simple one line only we can write now how you can write down this thing see just have to prefix the string or whatever line you want to print with f so print and within these brackets we will write down first f it means that now this is f string right now you don't have to put this comma comma and all simply you will put my name is and obviously from name variable i'll take the value so the name variable then the name of the variable just put that thing in these curly braces that that's it right now see in one closing and this opening bracket we have simply write down one thing so this is what f string now so that will be prefixed with f as you can see f and in braces what you will write the values you want to evaluate right or we can say in braces we will write the expressions that would be replaced with their values now i want to replace this name with krishna so just put that in braces i want to replace the age with 30 so just put this in curly braces just put height in curly braces that's it so i guess this line is easy to read and less error prone than the previous line i hope you are agree with me right now let's run this and i'll show you the output see my name is krishna i am 30 years old and my height is 1.6 meter so this f string this string formatting mechanism or the method is easy less error prone more concise way to format strings and a faster way to format strings in python and it was it is available since python 3.6 and see these these whatever you will write in these curly braces these expressions are evaluated at runtime so rather than a simple variable you can write down some expression also let me just show you one more thing right uh, if i write so here let's see uh, in this curly braces i have done a is into 2 this is some expression or you have to evaluate this thing so at runtime it would be evaluated and it would print what c krishna's father age is okay it is directly printing age into 2 why so because we haven't used prefix f in this case right so that is the mistake we have done so let's put f here and now run this see krishna's father age is 60 years old 30 into 2 is 60 so rather than one variable you can put some expression also right 2 into 5 3 into 5 or some other long expression also that would be evaluated at runtime and it will give you the result so i guess it is a simple and convenient way to format some strings and less error prone method right so i hope you got now how to use this f strings in your program right uh, about string formatting we will see in detail in later videos right my motto is just to get you familiar with f strings one string formatting method because in later programs we will see more and more these f strings right because these are simple to use and less error prone so I hope you go to what are F strings. In the next video, we'll see one coding exercise, you know, how to use F strings in your program. So now it's the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.